are 68 days away from the election in November, but waves of ads for campaigns are already hitting your commercial breaks and social media feeds. And tonight we begin our election season series of fact checking the ads you see here on KMLV. Tonight we start with one of the top races in the country, the race for Congressional District 2 in Missouri. As Democratic challenger Jill Shoup takes on incumbent Republican Ann Wagner, Corey Stark digs into the claims Ann Wagner is making against Shoup. Jill Shoup spent her career siding with dangerous criminals. When a serial sex offender got away with raping a child, a bipartisan constitutional amendment was introduced to bring child sex offenders to justice. Missouri voters overwhelmingly passed the amendment, but Jill Shoup turned her back on victims and voted no. It's true that voters passed the amendment, but there's more. Shoup, along with 23 Democrats and four Republicans, voted against it because it would allow juries to hear evidence from a defendant's past, even if they were never charged in those cases. The ACLU also opposed the amendment, stating it presumes suspects were guilty instead of innocent. So is that claim true? Not exactly. Before that, Shoup supported legislation that would have given hundreds of sex offenders a clean slate. Shoup did vote for that bill, but so did every other member of the Missouri House, Democrat and Republican. And 87% of the entire state Senate voted for the bill. That included then State Senator Republican Mike Parson, who is now Governor Parson. The bill would have removed sex offenders from the registry if they were convicted when they were under the age of 18. Then Governor Nixon ended up vetoing the bill, so that claim is misleading. As for that website, softoncrimeshoop.com, it shows it's paid for by Ann Wagner for Congress. Corey Stark, News 4.